Stop to the side of the water leak here because I like this curve and uh, the, the dark sky in the back so it'd be a bit rude of me not to get the camera out and do a quick handheld. I've done a portrait of this. I've got the foreground here and the sky and it's uh, f6.3 one one hundredth of a second. Quick handheld portrait Here's the image. I'm going to follow this water leak here all the way around until I can cross it and I'm heading to the top of this hill up here to a stone circle and a huge stone row and then on the peak of that hill up the top there, there's um, some lovely lone trees. So that's where I'm headed. For the meanwhile, onward. Another S curve with some tours in the background, and some dark clouds and sunlight, bits of sunlight coming across. So, it'd be a bit rude not to, wouldn't it? So that was a quick handheld shot again. I've done a landscape and a portrait version of it. Both one one hundredth of a second, f6.3. Uh, two images, one focusing on the tours at the back, which are there, see? and one focusing on the foreground 24 millimeter so quite wide fitting sort of all of that in here's the images onward
I'm at the stone circle now, but I'm, it's just about to chuck it down. But it has been raining all the way here and I'm soaked, but behind me now, I'm sat underneath an umbrella. And behind me is a big dark black cloud and lots of rain coming. But it keeps coming and then clearing. So I'll get light on the foreground here, like this. I'm going to wait for that cloud to go over because the background of this image here I want to be a really nasty dark cloud and then some light on these stones in the foreground and uh, that'll be a black and white image I suspect um, so I'm just going to wait out the rain which is just starting now and then when I can I'll get my camera out and take some shots until then, just gonna have to sit here and wait. I told you it was gonna rain. It's hammering it. But as soon as that stops, it's gonna be perfect. Perfect to take this shot. So I might I might try and put my wide angle lens on, but holding an umbrella trying to cover from the rain, that might be a mistake might have to wait but I think 16 mil wide angle on this on this image here is going to be the one so if I can if I get the opportunity to talk to you about what I'm doing if it stops raining for long enough then I will let's wait and see can you see that this is what I've got lined up uh, I'm at 16 mil, so it's wider than this video footage. I've got just a corner there and a corner of this side and this mound that's in front of me here and then the stone row leading off on an angle up there. Portrait, dark, dark clouds in the background. I think it. Um, I think that's probably quite a nice image. So that's enough from here. What I'm going to do now is uh, put my camera away and walk myself over these tours and find some lone trees. So let's get going. like mad so I'm just hiding behind a stone wall an umbrella waiting for it to stop or at least calm down a bit and then I've got these trees on this wall I like the look of that one there I like the look of that shot actually if it wasn't for holding my umbrella I would take that now but I'll get that in a minute there's another tree just over there there's actually two trees you can see there a little one in front of a bigger one I like the look of the bigger one I see if I can make something out of and if I spin round you can see I'm ducking behind this wall out of, out of that let me see if I can show you I've got this wall here 
curves round with this tree on it and down tour in the background. Um, that, that's a lovely shot. You could see a lot more a minute ago before the rain came in. Oh, Jesus. Am I sick of this? When it stops, when it stops raining a little bit, and I can, I look like a deer. When I can, I'll, uh, I'll show you that shot that I'm gonna take and um, pop it up on the screen for you and then go and see what else we can do. A brief gap in the rain. This is roughly the shot I'm looking for bit wider we've got the tree the stone wall and down tour in the background and here comes the rain again stopped raining just about long enough for me to run out with my camera and take a few few images they're all at uh, f8 handheld ISO 64 started to rain again ISO 64 and um, between 16 and about 20 25 mil so any good images I'll pop up on the screen at the end here and um, I'm gonna pack up now call it a day and take the long walk all the way back to the car in the rain getting soaked and battered by the wind but it's enjoyable and that's why we come out here to be honest I've had enough of this wet miserable weather now but it, it makes for some good images doesn't it so that's why we do it it's all good so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the video um, and uh, if you've not subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel and giving the video a thumbs up that will help me out and uh, show me that it's worth making some videos so thanks again see you on the next one